Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's going on, everybody? We're back to talk one of our favorites. This is Farmer Wants a Wife. This is the U.S. version. Season one, episode eight. Is there room for one more? Uh, that one more being Megan. Um, we saw the preview. I didn't realize, Brian, I thought that was a teaser for a little bit later on. Like I thought that might have been like a finale teaser. But Megan came back. Hunter, um, not so subtly jogged over to her, gave her a kiss right away. Um, four women there now, Brian. Um, that one makes it a lot more difficult. He's going to do a double elimination, and we know Megan is not going to be one of the ones eliminated when she came back. So what was your read, your surprise? How do you think that one's going to play out for Hunter? So like you said, like we, you thought this was going to be a later episode because before – yesterday we thought this was a finale so i was yeah. kind of expecting it to happen but we did an interview with porsche we found out it was 11 episodes so that's i was still thinking it was going to happen though and we predicted that she was going to come back but um i don't know i mean i'm worried that he might be like hey i've already made a couple connections and like because he's so nice yeah that like he might eliminate her but i kind of think he's going to stick with uh, her and honestly i don't know who he's gonna pick on the other one i think it's De- literally just a grab bag did well with devon devon yeah. i thought they had a good date i thought devon held herself up well the tough date to have to go on to start going to the cattle auction because it is like all business and you got to pay attention but i i thought she kind of rolled with the punches well i thought oh, i think all the dates overall this week i didn't have any that were kind of like cringe or goofy mm-hmm. you know like i've had little like jokes to make about a lot of the dates and overall I've enjoyed them, but this one, I really don't really have any criticisms and even looking at my notes that I would say about them. I guess, obviously the one that we would say probably went the worst, it would be Cassidy Joe um, because Cassidy Joe, after the one-on-one date and really expressing that she felt like she wasn't being complimented as much as she was complimenting, uh, decided to leave uh, another you know, we you said we had a, a Porsche interview uh, and now we had someone else who decided to eliminate themselves. We've had a lot of that this season seems to be a, a kind of a constant factor with this show. It's kind of like they promote it literally like in their catch line that like the men mm-hmm. and women are free to come and go as they please. Uh, so your reaction to the Cassidy Joe breakup. Um, I'm kind of glad that she left. I thought that she was kind of me, 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 me. And I kind of think if you're going to, we're going to compare the two self eliminations. I mean, Porsche had like legit reasons like, Hey, I want to connect. It's not working. I have real life, but uh, here Cassidy is like, you're not telling me that I'm pretty or you're not doing this. And like, I, I can understand. And he, Alan is also like, he's quiet, man. He's quiet. And he's the, I think by now you should know that that's not who he is. And I think that they, he, he realized that, hey, it's not going to work and it's not I'm not going to work for you. You're not going to work for me. And it's just best that you go. So, I, I mean, I think it's best for both of them. That's that's really what it is. Yeah, I, I think overall a, a fair decision. They gave it a go to one on one dates. They had a lot mm-hmm. of time talking on group dates. So, hey, it worked out. Somebody who I'd be interested in talking to, too. Yeah, uh, for sure. Speaking of leaving, we can't talk about leaving without talking about Lily. Um, I'm surprised it took this long. Honestly, Lily hasn't seemed super happy there in a, for a while to me. Um, again, I like Lily. Yeah. Ryan's another one who's tough, very quiet. I don't think I, at first, I think a few episodes back, I kind of mistook his reservedness for maybe a little bit of rudeness. And, you know, there was like the, you know, the emotional comment and that kind of took up some of the airspace with him, but I just think the guy's shy. Like, I think he's reserved. I don't think he's a bad dude at all. And, like, I, you can see his communication coming out a little bit. And I think it's a little easier. And it made it – I think it was a guy who was almost relieved that he didn't have to make the decision, right, and do the breakup. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, I just have two Sarahs now. This is wonderful. Right. Yeah, I kind of – this is, like, the way they're all reacting to some of these eliminations. It makes me realize they're normal people. These aren't, like, people who are trying to be – celebrities or reality tv people because we see these guys on bachelor and these other shows and they're like looking for confrontation looking to be like point the fingers and like i just don't i I don't know i just feel like that would happen in a normal not obviously not writing a letter but just the way like he has a way to he shows his emotions um other people show differently and like that's a common disagreement in normal life 
overall, I mean, we do get to get a little bit of background. We got to see uh, Landon. Was that his friend or his brother? I think it was his friend. I think it was his friend, too. Uh, shooting bows, getting to talk to the ladies. I thought that was good. Uh, Landon did tell Ashley R that he is going to choose her as one of the people and he is going to meet his daughter. So a little bit of the decision is made, but who are we left with now, Brian? We have two of them that have to actually make their eliminations, right? To get to the final two. Yeah. It's Hunter and Landon. Hunter and Landon. They just didn't eliminate anybody the entire time. Like, nope. But it, basically a rose was handed out to Ashley R before the episode ended. But that's where we ended it, Bri. Mm. Uh, we did not get a full set. We do know next week is let's not let's call it for what it is. It's hometowns. Yeah, right? reverse hometowns. Yeah. Uh, I think they need to add, you know, Yellowstone meets the Bachelor, right, <laughs> Brian? There's the hometowns. Yeah. I I just was waiting for the Duttons. Like we're we'll protect this family. Like that's I I think what I would really enjoy, like I said pre-show, is if we do a, a spinoff version and Fox. Like we know you guys now. This is the this is the my, my pitch, right? So it's like City Girl wants a farmer, and you have a girl who is like a Manhattan socialite or something, high paying, crazy, good job, but like hustle and bustle. And you got to get like 10 guys from like the deep farms, like cattle yeah. farms in like Oklahoma to come compete for her heart. And like it's kind of this like reverse. I'm sure there's some 90s rom com I'm not thinking about right now or early 2000s rom com that it has this exact plot. But you always got to do like the reverse, like made in Manhattan almost. We need to get pretty woman these guys up. You yeah. Know what and, I mean? and like a sprinkle of the what's the Amish show? Oh, uh, Breaking Amish. Yeah, that's a little bit of that too. Like Breaking not- Cowboy. <laughs> Some- there you go. Something <laughs> like that, Brian. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, guys. Like going from host to producers mm-hmm. and then to show hosts as well, too. Unless you can get like someone from Yellowstone to host it or something. I don't know. We're, that's the only free ideas you're getting here on the reality guys uh like brian mentioned here uh check out our interview the last video here in the farmer wants a wife playlist we had portia paxton uh one of the contestants she was awesome yeah there's some cool behind the scenes scoop stuff that um gives a little more context about how they actually matched with the mm-hmm. individual um farmers which i thought was really interesting a great question that brian had asked uh, also check out the other coverage we have on the channel this week. We've also we've already done below deck. Uh, look out for Survivor 44. Look out for uh, Married at First Sight, 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way. Uh, we will have a review of the challenge. We will have a series slash season one review of Jury Duty, which was like a pseudo reality TV show that was on Amazon. You can watch all the episodes there. It's probably going to be Kevin and um, Brett for that one. Uh, what else do we have going on, Bri? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I think that's it. We kind of are. In, I always say that we're in a lull, but we're really not. But a lull to us. We're, we're in a lull like, until we find and, out. Next did you say below deck? Yep, I did say okay. below deck. Right. Uh, check out our merch store uh, in the link below. Um, like I said, a lot of cool stuff going on in the channel. Check the descriptions, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram to all the information with the reality guys. For myself and Brian, until next week on the farm. Thank you. Peace.